Hi, I'm Bev Desordal. My maiden name was Roberts. I was born and raised in Salem, Oregon. Went to Salem High School, graduated in 1950. Started going to church, the first Christian church, when I was born in the old building that is long gone. His family came to, to town and I met his sister and uh we were friends and and i we went i went to northwest christian college for a year and uh she went with me and so uh these guys came to see us he came to see his sister quote unquote <laughs> mm. <laughs> they they'd come down for the weekend and and uh, stay in the boys dorm and at ncc and and eventually we decided why we have to do this back and forth business so we got married in the first christian church avis and i went to school together part of the time so i've gone to the first christian church all my life too but not here in salem in merced california that's where i grew up so the family moved to Salem, and I came along with them. I was a senior in high school. I had been working as an usher or a deacon in the church in Merced, and I, I think the first Sunday I was in Salem, I was a deacon. <laughs> <laughs> and I was working as a deacon and I looked up in the balcony, and there was a good-looking blonde up there in a blue dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I met Belle. And uh, then when she and Avis went to school together, it gave me an excuse to go down to Jean and see them, or go down and pick them up and bring them home for the weekend. I worked half a day and went to school half a day until I got drafted. Uh, drafted, you think, is a really bad thing. It wasn't for me because I had started working, taking a correspondence course in radio electronics at home. And as soon as the Army saw me, they put me in the Signal Corps. That led to my vocation from a lifetime. Worked for 40 years for the phone company. It was a good deal. Didn't go where they were shooting at me. They went to Alaska and Arizona. <laughs> that was good. Well, when I got done with the Army, I was looking for a job. So I found a job in Portland. It was a good job, but I hated living in Portland. And I traded jobs with a guy that was working in Corvallis. The Corvallis job, I worked for... 10 years, and then I transferred to Albany, and then transferred to Salem, and back to Salem First Church. It's funny, I think the first day I was in Salem, Dave Van Dyke and who was Jack Utterback drafted me to be a deacon. <laughs> so did, tell me other things that you have done in the church. Ben oh, was no. treasurer for a while. I don't remember. I did a lot of stuff just because I wanted to do it. They were looking for somebody to do something that I knew I could do. I'd say, well, can I help you? When, when you're raised and gone to Sunday school all your life, that was just part of my life, was going to church. And that happened to be the first Christian church. My dad built all the cabinets in the kitchen and the dining room in the current church, in the basement, Fred Roberts. That was his donation. Some people can do certain things. You can direct choirs. You can do music. That's not my thing. <laughs> I would like it to be, but that's not it. I can fix things with my hands. I can think about getting things fixed. That's what I enjoyed. That's what I did when I could. I had a few projects there that I really, really enjoyed doing. 
there were a lot of work, like trees, the sidewalks, the sprinkling system, the lawns, all that. It took a lot of work with people like the city to get the job done. Thank you for the donkeys. Helped a lot. Had a few kind of personal projects, a big rose window up in the balcony. It was a job that you didn't just go and do. I sat in, up there in the balcony and looked at that window for a week. I finally got a plan and then I took the window out, took it home and put it in my shop. <laughs> that window is nine and a half feet across. <laughs> You know how many Sundays I've sat in church and watched that window, the glass shine on Star Austin's head over there in the side of the church? It was always Star Austin. It's like, funny how people always sit in the same place. Yeah. Well, yeah, you get used to sitting in the same yeah. place, and, you know, and it's kind of like home. <laughs> well, it is. Yeah. You know, uh, well, you, you don't do anything down there, but somebody will help you. I helped Donna with her painting in the baptistry. Yes. She wanted a wood frame made for the painting. And so I made her a wood frame and we put it in the baptistry. We were over to the Amity Church one day. They had a really nice information desk in their church. And uh, Norma Brown said, we need one in our church. Okay, I built her one. <laughs> and you, you do the same thing. And when you can look around and see the things that, the places you contributed. For me, it's what, what my dad helped build. The yes. first little while in that church building, I did a lot of painting, all those Sunday school classes and whatnot, because it ran out of money to hire a painter. People volunteered to do the painting. I was in high school, I could paint. The, the church is changing, it's growing. It's hard to see the changes because they are changes, but they're needed. We were there a long time with Chuck and all the other ministers, but I'm, I'm trying to be a believer. <laughs> Since I was born and raised going to that church and went there most all my life, <laughs> I, I love it and I, I don't know what else I can say. I feel like I'm missing something if I don't go to church because you have people at church that you wouldn't see in otherwise and you can help somebody when you go to church. There's just all kinds of things that you can do.